Hey guys, Harv here, and welcome back to the Kerbal Test Pilot. This is the show in which I take a few submitted ships and review them to see just how good the KSP community is at building craft. Today we have a pretty cool submission. It, this is more spontaneous than my usual election process. I basically just went into my emails, searched rescue, and chose the best one. And this was it, submitted by... Submitted by Brendan7358. Thank you very much for the submission. Your ship, Rescue Plane, has got 33 parts and one stage. And what made this so worthwhile, or so worthy for the test pilot show, was not the fact that, yeah, look, it's got two cockpits and all that. That's not necessarily what made it so good. What made it so good was the wings. <laughs> You know those wings in the VAB, those ones that are heralded as inherently unstable, yeah? Well, it turns out that defying commonplace or common knowledge, or common sense, they actually make for a really stable plane, which is interesting. Stacking multiple unstable things together makes for something stable. Is may maybe, maybe Jebediah got it right all the time. More boosters! More boosters! That is the solution. If you have more of something inherently unstable, it's gonna be better for you in the long run. So this plane, this plane is heralded as a rescue plane. It was submitted as one of four, actually. It's a four plane submission, all following the same guideline, all following this, this weird... <laughs> Frankly astounding uh, wing formation, but this was the only one that really caught my eye as being something useful, a rescue plane, because as you saw on takeoff and as you've seen, it's stable, it, it flies incredibly fast actually, 200, over 200 meters per second, and we're not at a particularly high altitude, and hang on, there we go. <laughs> I took I just the pitch. It does take some a pitch uh, uh, does take some pitch adjusting, which is not necessarily a massive deal. I mean most aircraft do to get them perfect. But the fact that it it's one of those planes where it's just like you will point it in a direction and it will carry on going in that direction. It does not care whatsoever for flame outs being unstable. Like just leave it there. Yep, yeah, yeah, that's absolutely fine. Leave it there. Yeah, that's fine. Sideways. Yeah, I can do that. No, no major tipping, no major flaws with it in any respect, and it's the simplicity of it is pretty damn good. So, so without further ado, you can see our marker 95 kilometers away. My mouse was just covering the kilometers, 95 meters. Hmm. Um, without without further ado, let's get on with the actual review side of things. So, how does this plane handle with two times acceleration, or two times physics warp? Eh, not bad, not bad. Three times. That's pretty good as well. How about four times? Ooh. Oh, okay. I managed to make... Okay, that is my problem, right? That is the hardest I've ever tested a plane using physics warp. I usually just fly them straight. But I, I made it break. Ooh, it must be a terrible ship. No, in all honesty, and you you can see the evidence for yourself, it's actually incredibly strong. Uh, of course, that comes at a price. It does have to have struts on the top. Don't see why it couldn't have put them at the bottom, although that wouldn't have helped as much structurally. Take off, do some trim adjustment. There we go. Oh, low, close those landing gear. <laughs> Good one thing to watch out for. Can't do turning too close to the ground. Such a long wind span, wind span, that is not going to be a good idea. But yeah, uh, despite despite what I may have just shown in the footage of this plane exploding, uh, it is actually pretty damn structural integral. Just get it on a path. There we go. And now times four warp. And it does not suffer main, any major problems whatsoever. In fact, it, tr it tries to snap back to a more stable position, seemingly. Or it's, it's got memory of where its last position was. But yeah, four times acceleration, no problem whatsoever. There's, n there's not even the slightest hint of oscillation. So this definitely, definitely, despite how I managed to make it explode in midair, it passes the physics warp test. I should get some sort of cheering, you know, some canned animation. Or canned sound effect. 
So, yeah, well done, yeah. Uh, right, so we've uh, we've commented on its aesthetic, we've commented on its ridiculous nature, we've commented on how it handles physics warp. Um, capability. It's intended to be a rescue plane, and although you're looking at this, and I, I know you judgmental people thinking, oh, it can't go high atmosphere, it's rubbish. Does every plane really need to go high atmosphere? Okay, yes, but that's not what this is intended for. It's not necessarily... Yeah, it is actually. It's quite short range. How? It's only got one tank of fuel and one engine. So yeah, it's a short range, low altitude rescue ship. Which, in a lot of cases, is really only what's required. This Jebediah Kerman, stranded over here by this lake, he didn't need a massive airborne beast thing, did he now? So although it doesn't have the capability, uh, that does... It doesn't have the capability to do high atmosphere, that does actually help it in the long run. Because using the uh, the low atmosphere jet is more efficient and it provides more thrust. Hence why we can get these ridiculous speeds at such low altitudes. Ooh, a gentle pull up. And wobble. <laughs> okay, back to four times acceleration. So now let's, now let's see how good it is at landing. Of course, of course, if you look at this, the massive wingspan Basic. Uh, I don't think it's going to land very well, but we'll find out. Time accelerate just to get closer. Okay, let's try and go in for a bit of a landing now. We'll turn throttle down to one sixth, as is per usual. Bring it down. Ah, uh, going so fast means it takes a while to slow down. <laughs> Open landing gear up. And 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 then. Oh, I think we're a bit too high. Turn off the throttle. Bit too high, a bit too fast. This is not looking like it's going to be too much good. Uh, oh, and landed safely. Brakes on. Brakes on, come back. No. No. Okay, you know what? We're going to go for another pass. Turn the brakes off. <laughs> ah, this thing is so fast. It's a real jet plane. I haven't really men mentioned that, have I? It, does, it doesn't turn extremely fast, but the speed... It, can accomplish within a few seconds, over 150 meters per second already. That is pretty damn impressive. But that's not what I'm interested in. Right now I just want to land this thing. Um, and I don't think that... Yeah, the turning circle is pretty poor as a result of uh, lack of canards on the front. Although not having canards on the front is a plus for aesthetic. Let's just get this thing down, damn it. Breaks on. Oh, gear open, gear open, gear open. Whew. Man, brakes on. There we go. All right, and we're still taking ages to slow down. You know what? He can just walk. What a lazy bastard! <laughs> Sorry, no swearing. Oh wow, that is a far walk. Oh, I turned the brakes off. Okay, well, how thing? How how well does this thing steer? I'm really being inept. How well does this thing steer? It actually steers pretty well. For a ship with such a large wingspan that you'd expect to tip over at a moment's notice, this, the placement of the wheels, it doesn't even, it only has three wheels as well, and that's the minimum required. Although I have made, yes, I know we have all made bicycle wing plane things, but um, despite, despite the uh, massive wingspan, it will not tip over. So we bring this thing round as I try and reach cross and close my door. There we go. Load up the throttle and we'll start taxiing back towards our guy. <laughs> so it serves as a rover as well. Hey, plus one for multi-use. There we go. Don't want to accelerate too much, just coasting. And we'll pick this guy up. We'll pick Jebediah, Jebediah up. See if he can actually get in. Yes, it does have a ladder. I'm, I would have forgot. <laughs> I would have absolutely forgot. Oh, wings, don't hit him. Whew. Okay, good, good, good. We'll open up the ladder for him. We'll swap to his craft. To well, what remains of his craft. Surely he was doing something stupid with re-entry and this happened. And now he's comatose on the floor. No, it's okay. No, get out. Get out of there, Jebediah. Yes, we're having to bring you back to the KSC. I know you don't want to go. I know you'd prefer to carry on with your... Marine biology. That's, that's actually nothing like you, is it? Marine, marine biology? Really? Out here? There's nothing. There's no rockets. Sure you want to get back. Okay. Grab him. Get him 
in the secondary cockpit. Come on, board, there we go. And we have loaded up two pilots. Awesome. Right, just turn the brakes off. Look at our resources. Intake air is fluctuating. It does only have a one radial thing. Liquid fuel, we've got 104 out of 150. That's fine. Electric charge, 100. Oh, command pod. Woo. <laughs> we just went right over the command module. I was expecting to hit that. <laughs> Didn't notice. Right. Onwards. Onwards with the return mission. Did we actually taxi around? Which way is the space center? Whoa. There we go. This thing can take off pretty well. Pretty quickly. Uh, being dangerous. Going close to the floor. Oh. Ooh. Daredevil. <laughs> okay. Where is the space center? It should be 90 degrees and north, shouldn't it? So in roughly this direction. Let's use some time acceleration. Some of that sweet physics warp that this plane does so good. And we're heading back in the right direction. Man, the bright white lights on the horizon. Is that it? Hang on. No, that can't be over there. Let me look at the map. Yeah, we're heading in the right direction. A bit more north. Whoa. Whoa, Nelly. <laughs> Actually being able to maneuver at four times acceleration. This is crazy. I mean, of course, I'm not maneuvering pretty well. Look at that. That was just like three bazillion alien rolls and I managed to pull it off fine. Still haven't learned the pronunciation of aileron. I should really look into that. I think I say it differently every time just to make, you know, so one of the times I will probably get it right, statistically likely. But never mind, bringing it back home to the Kerbal Space Center. So this is about the time where I should probably start doing some conclusions, because there's not awful lot to the ship. It is only made of 33 parts, so it wins the sim simplicity factor. Actually, I don't know, we may have had... I think we probably have had ships that are in fewer part counts than this. But um, in terms of being simple, reliable, structurally capable, <laughs> and being able to de deal with time acceleration like a boss, it wins all the medals. And that is pretty much all I have to say on the ship. We'll land back at the runway. And uh, that was an episode well done, I think. Quite a short one today. Pretty cool ingenious ship if you have your own uses for it and you're thinking, if you're watching this thinking, wow, that is just what I need, then you will be happy that I'm started putting the downloads back in the description. There was a period where I took them out for some reason. Probably just because I was too bored. Uh, that's not a correct, that's not a real explanation, I know it, so, you know, forgive me for that. But no, it's back in the description. You can download this from the description. And if you would like to submit your own ships, your own craft for review in the Kerbal Test Pilot Show, there is the full guide. Really simple to read, I promise you, for those who have an affliction. Some people, it seems, have a disease to stop them from looking, at the, looking in the description of the video. I had one guy complain that he couldn't find the email address. The description of any single test pilot ship, look in there, hotgaming at live.co.uk, submit your designs, they need to be ingenious, useful and practical, and furthermore, they need to be attractive to me. Thank you very much for watching this episode of the KSP Test Pilot. Thank you, Brendan, for submitting your ship, and we shall see you all next time.